developing now. The city of Wilsonville is issuing a cautionary alert for its drinking water. This after the city says the water there may test positive for blue green algae, just like what's happening down in Salem. Our Valina Jones explains though why they say right now there is no need to panic. Empty. There was only like two more shelves left full of water. I bought as much as I could. From stores in Sherwood to shelves in Wilsonville, residents are stocking up on bottled water after the city of Wilsonville found low levels of toxins, known as blue-green algae, in a treated water sample. While the tests are only preliminary, shoppers say they aren't taking any chances. We just didn't know, so we and then decided better be safe than sorry. Fred Meyer in Wilsonville is already having a hard time keeping water on hand as the tap water advisory continues in Salem for the same toxins found in their water this week. I've been having somebody on it at least every hour going back through refilling it. The city of Wilsonville gets their water right here from the Willamette River and distributes four to five million gallons of water daily to Wilsonville and Sherwood, which is why they say they're taking every precaution necessary. We just want people to have the opportunity to sort of make their own decision that's best for themselves and their family, uh, even though uh, we don't believe uh, there's a public health risk at this time. One out of four test samples showed a raised level in toxins. Samples have been sent out of state for further testing to determine if an advisory is necessary. As a precaution, Public Works Director Delora Kerber says they are increasing treatment in a process they already use called ozonation that helps destroy the toxins. It takes the um, algae toxins and it basically, I like to call it, beats it up and makes it into a bunch of little smaller pieces. Kerber said the levels identified could be a false positive, but says even if they're not, the water is still safe to drink if you don't have a weakened immune system. The particular amount that we're talking is really only targeted uh, of concern for a uh, uh, vulnerable population, so healthy adults, it, it really would not impact. In Wilsonville, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. And Valina also says as a precaution, the Sherwood School District says that it will also be using bottled water. Some new test results are expected back on Monday, so we will continue to follow the story and let you know what the latest results are.